I'm so excited to smell this. And it's probably like the most basic bee fragrance there is, but I had to try it. I had to try it. <music> Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Crystal, also known as Good Girl Gone Fashion, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Good Girl Gone Fashion. Today I have a luxury unboxing for you all. I have recently got a luxury piece of jewelry and a luxury perfume. So without holding this up any longer, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the luxury piece of jewelry first um, because I did somewhat, well, I did open that one because I shot a reel with it. I might actually pause this video to shoot a reel with the perfume too, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I um, if you are a luxury lover, <laughs> a fashion girl, just all the things, and you like luxury, but sometimes you just do not want to pay that full retail price, y'all have got to start checking secondhand sites and stores. Um, the Real Real is one of them. Trazy is another. Um, Thread Up is one. Fashion File is probably the biggest one, and I want to say Best Year Collective. I could be wrong, but yes, I think so. But anywho, um, this particular item is a bracelet. I got this from Fashion File. It came in the Fashion File box. <laughs> so I um, had been wanting this bracelet for a while now. And two girls who, whose channel that I watch um, all the time, um, Brittany of Pockets and Bows and Jeronica Masia, both have this. And I was just like, oh, that's the bracelet I want. But it looks beautiful on them. So I knew that was all the confirmation I needed to <laughs> get the bracelet. But anyway, it came in the Fashion File box. It came with the Certificate of Authenticity. And um, it came in a little Fashion File box. <laughs> so I'm just going to open this one up. It came wrapped in tissue paper. I'm going to pull it down. I'm gonna open this up and it is the YSL Saint Laurent cuff. Y'all, this piece of gold is pure art. <laughs> I just love it. It was in good, it was in ex actually great condition. Based upon what they said, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more scuffed up when I received it, but y'all, this is beautiful. As you can see inside of here, I'm not sure if you can see that, it says the Saint Laurent in there. And this is a size small. And those of you who have never shopped with Fashion File before, once you remove any tags, it is officially yours. <laughs> so, um, and of course it says no returns once removed. And the, I mean, the weight of this is like <laughs> heavy. So I'm going to put it on my left wrist here and I got a size small. So I'm just gonna pop it on like this. So y'all can see that. 
I'll get a little closer. And that's the Y, the S, and the L. And as you can see, it fits my wrist perfectly. It is just a good piece of jewelry to have to amp up your look. Like I always say, the accessories is the fun part of dressing to me. They make the outfit. So I don't want to just stop looks with my clothes. I also want my accessories to speak and talk and make people gasp and do all the things as well. So I just love this. I cannot wait to wear it, style her up. I'm going out with the girls this weekend and she is coming with me. So yes, I love it. Um, like I said, it fits very snug. This is not going to slide off my wrist or anything. And um, yes, I'm interested to just to see how it wears. I do have very sensitive skin, so I'm, I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm also not nervous as well. I feel like this is very, very good quality. Um, and I just love it. So yes, and I also saw this y'all in rose gold. Rose gold, yes, rose gold. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yes, check Fashion Files, check another site. Now, YSL or Saint Laurent definitely has another version of this and um, it's a newer updated version. It is way skinnier than this. If I can find a picture, I'll pop it up somewhere. It's still gorgeous, but it's definitely a lot smaller or skinnier than this. And to me, I just am kind of like a chunky, gaudy type of girl. So um, I had to go for the thick, chunky one. So yeah, that's, that's it y'all. That's the first item. Cause if you like it, then you should have it. <laughs> Anywho, yes, I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. And we are gonna move right along to the perfume. So I'm gonna open this while I'm sitting right here chilling. Talking to y'all, I got my scissors right here. So, all right, let's see. So I ordered this from Nordstrom. I also saw it on Bloomingdale's, but their shipping is the worst. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And as you can see, it comes nice and securely stuffed. I'm so nervous. Ah! All right. So, I think I am gonna shoot a reel, but just bear with me. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. I'm so excited to smell this. And it's probably like the most basic bee fragrance there is, but I had to try it. I had to try it. So, judge all you want, but I had to try it. So, yes. All right, so I'm going to remove that. Oh, I'm shooting a reel. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Now, I feel like I messed the color up, but it's all good. So, I'm all over the place. Okay, so this, this is the worst unboxing in history. So, it came in here, and when you remove this, as you can see... I have gotten the girl, the Baccarat Rouge by 40. All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go. We are going to see but she is fine. I don't have anything on, just lotion. So, mm. 
Are we going to like it? So here's how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. I hope my lighting is not off because I would be over it. We're gonna pull this on up like this. Y'all, this is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna take it on out. nervous why am I nervous to smell you why <sighs> oh okay I'm gonna catch my breath all right let's woosah let's woosah and I may be doing all this for nothing y'all are probably like girl that thing smells terrible all right y'all so here is the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is what I picked up. And let me just go ahead and give my first impression. Oh, I see why they say that. All right, here we go. I'm blown away. I'm a little blown away. I see I see why I see why it's so hyped. This smells amazing. Let me let me read the notes cuz there's something in there that's just got to get to the notes. I, I don't even, I'm going to pop them on the screen because I don't even have it in front of me, but this smells amazing. So it is the 70 milliliter 2.4 fluid ounces. And I, like I said, I definitely see what the hype is about. I'm, I'm interested to see how the dry down is going to be because it's coming off a little sweet right now, but something in there is giving it like a little twist of something else. Mm. But I get it. I get it now. I'm glad I'm finally able to test it out and see for myself what all the hype is about. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. So yes, I'm glad I tried this. I also want to try the, um, I think it's Gentle Fluidity and Gold. I heard that one is a banger as well. So I'm definitely interested to try that. I do have a fragrance by All Saints um, called Sunset Riot. And I see why they say it's a dupe for the Baccarat. And if you have, now that I have smelled both, I can definitely tell. I can definitely tell. But this is giving something else other than sun, that Sunset Riot is not giving. And that's what I really like about this one. 
it has the extra twist of something. I can't put my finger on it because I'm no like perfume guru or anything like that. But mm, I think the dry down on this is going to be amazing. Like I said, I'm going out with the girls this weekend and she's she's going to be she's going to be there as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. But yes, y'all. So these were the two things that I got. The Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm not even going to try to say the Maison Francis. Mm -mm. Nope. I got the Baccarat Rouge 540. So yes. Um, and I know my girlfriends are going to want to smell this and I can't wait to share it with them. So but anyways, um, yes, these were the two items that I picked up. I'm glad that y'all were able to share this unboxing with me, even though it was a little bit all over the place. Hey, that's what happens sometimes. But anywho, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section and keep it cute. <laughs> So um, I can know what you think or if you recommend anything else that I may like as far as luxury jewelry or fragrance, I would love to know. And I will see you in my next video. Toodles.